evening, boys and girls. Good evening. Good afternoon. Eh, evening-ish. And welcome to the Last Begotten channel. Today, we are installing a Denso first time fit radiator and two brand new also brand new this is brand new ebay but brand new brand new gates radiator hoses on a 2002 honda crv this applies to 2002 to 2004 honda crvs and elements and could be useful for civics or rsx tsx four cylinders k series that is your k24 also found in the integra type r in japan how about that but first you take off that thing and you're gonna need to take off that thing all up under there and stuff ours is ripped so we have a new one but first you're gonna need to take off this thing and it's just got some little clips. Take a flathead, put it in the top part of the clip, put it under the bottom part of the clip, put it back in the top part of the clip, and pull it out. Work just fine. And then cast that asunder. Before you go any further, you want to remove your battery. If you don't know how to remove your battery, you probably shouldn't be doing this to begin with. As you can see, I have already removed my battery. And the reason why because I also have to remove this cold air box and this rate in this hose. And this hose is all kind of nested in together and all cluster fucked into one space. So we're actually at our stopping point. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this more this evening because I had to go over uh, you know my my mom dying and going and spending time with them and, and my stepdad and huh, yeah. Not exactly a focused event, but we've done the 10 millimeters right here, 10 millimeters right here, 10 millimeters somewhere around here, one of each, yep, right there, and this whole thing comes off, it looks like, in the brochure of uh, me knowing what the hell I was doing. Two body clips that apparently aren't even there. So once all them side things are done, that guy comes right off. And here we have it. The OEM broken one compared to the aftermarket working one. Um, you can tell it's just the same molding. As expected, a less stiff, a little bit cheaper material. You know, but what you gonna do for $39 shipped or whatever. So what was wrong with this one is this little cover here is missing from here. Right here. So that's, uh, you know, a wee bit important. And as you can see, the uh, or you might be able to see that the belt right there has already been nicked. So I'm going to need to replace the belt very soon. So what I think I have planned here is to detach the hoses and the shrouds. I'm going to come in there and get these brackets off of there. Actually, no, I might, I might use the brackets to pull the radiator out. But I want to detach this stuff and um, maybe zip tie it or chicken wire it back. So I can just slide that radiator out, slide the new one in, and uh, then we'll be cool. Put all them back in position. Put the new hoses on. The other new hose is, uh, or the other hose is way down yonder. Way down there. But first, because... Just like this one, this hose clamp was way over here, so I had to like fish for different shaped pliers and 
try to get in there and then regroup it with the other hand and get the damn hose clamp to come around. You're supposed to, when you attach a hose clamp, rotate the hose clamp to where somebody could fucking take it off again, you know? Well, here we have an equal amount of idiocy.